Could these musk oxen help save the planet? They may be just a handful in an enclosure nibbling hay provided by a herdsman in remote Siberia now. But a Russian scientist believes they could help slow global warming if they're reintroduced into the wild, along with Yakutian horses, moose and reindeer, and later adding in bison and deer as well. Predators, including Siberian tigers and wolves, would follow. Scientist Sergei Zimov may be starting small, but his project is ambitious, to recreate an ecosystem that disappeared 10,000 years ago at the end of the Ice Age. Horses, muskox, reindeer will break the bushes. They will eat them. They'll fertilize the soil. The grass will begin to grow. Then most of the trees will dry up, and there will be here meadowlands of steppe vegetation. According to Zimov, tall grasses with complex root systems will stabilize the frozen soil, and the animals themselves will flatten the snow that otherwise would insulate the ground from cold air. The Russian expects this would all help slow the current thawing of the Arctic permafrost. His experiment is being watched with interest, not only by climate scientists, but also by paleontologists and others who have an interest in returning creatures to their native environment, a process called rewilding. In London, Adrian Lister at the Natural History Museum thinks the theory has merit, though he notes not all Ice Age creatures can be brought back. Although we're getting DNA um, out of fossil mammoth bones, it's very fragmented uh, it's, very, it's quite sort of, uh, it's been um, eroded through time. And so it's not really complete enough to, to clone a baby mammoth, unfortunately. Zimov has his own pieces of mammoth and woolly rhinoceros to remind him of how things used to be. If the Russian scientist succeeds in his plans to fill the vast emptiness of Siberia with animals, his frozen Arctic home would look that way again. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.